So it has been it has been made official by the NFL. The Jets will be on hard knocks. The reason why I bring that up because as Garrett Wilson spoke on the team a little bit, he's quoted as saying on Aaron Rodgers, we took full advantage of the time in the spring. So Garrett Wilson believes the team is ready. Are we going to see that reflected in hard knocks when we watch them? No, because I think how much did you see of Jared Goff last year? Jared Goff? None. A little bit. But it took like three weeks before we saw Ben Johnson. Yeah, we yeah. I mean, I, he, I've never seen anybody avoid the cameras more than Ben Johnson. So you're going to tell me that Aaron Rodgers is going to avoid the cameras? Yeah. No way. No, Aaron Rodgers will avoid the cameras because he's not getting paid individually for this. Now, if this was a State Farm commercial, he would be there. But right now, you know he does not want to do this at all. David, they'll talk about him. But I, I I don't think that they're going to showcase him. He won't be one of the main storylines. Let's put it like that. You'll see him throwing passes. No. He won't have a camera following. He is either. their starting quarterback in New York, and he's, he's coming off the most controversial no. offseason. No. No, no way. No. No. Because it's, it's as we said before, it would be oversaturation. I think people are, are a little sick of Aaron Rodgers, where – Okay, let follow around Sauce Gardner. Follow around the incoming rookie. Follow around. Okay, Brees that's Hall's a, come back. That's stories I want to see. What is Aaron going to say or do that we haven't heard already? I don't need him to say or do anything. I just want to see him. And the fans yeah. no, want to no. see him. You'll see him, but he won't be a like Jared Goff. You saw Jared Goff, but they didn't put cameras in his face. I hope they show everything he said when he was in the Denver uh Talking about uh, mushrooms that he wants legal and all of that stuff. See, once again, <laughs> no one cares. I think a lot of people in New York care about this next story here, and it is Saquon Barkley. Saquon Barkley and the Giants remain at a stalemate in contract talks, and on his side, it seems like he's willing to sit out a few games of the regular season to make his point. Is that smart on his end? Yeah, it works so well for Le'Veon Bell. Yeah, sure. I mean, no. I'm never going to tell a person to, to play when you feel you shouldn't, but these types of fit situations never really work out the way you think that they are because here's what happens. You find out that NFL stands for not for long. Somebody comes in there does what you've been doing, and now teams are like, well, do we really need Hence, it's why Dalvin Cook's not a Minnesota Viking anymore. It's why the Lions are just, hey, let's just go find another running back, and we're going to get rid of these two. Let's bring in two more. The running back position is not what it's supposed to be. That's not Saquon's fault, but it is what it is. He's never going to get the deal that he wants. The, the Giants, when, when they chose to go after uh, Vanilla Vic, the quarterback, uh, Daniel Jones. Forgot about that nickname. They, they pretty much told you this is where we're going with the team. Quarterback, not you. Now let's get into this here because it's your guy, your favorite quarterback in the NFL. His name is Kyler Murray. Quote from him, last year was necessary Good will come out of what happened. So for those that need a recap of what happened in Arizona, they had a horrible year. He uh, tore his ACL. They then fired their GM, fired their coach. Everything is redone. DeAndre Hopkins is now gone. So was last year necessary? And you think good will come out of what happened? No. Uh, okay. Agreed. Here's the funny thing about it. I'm, 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 uh, I'm getting... I was talking to the guy building my deck, Ron. We were talking about the Arizona. Arizona is so screwed. Arizona may have pick number one and number two in the upcoming draft. I've never seen that happen before. You would think that this is the most enviable, envious, enviable position to be in because I could take the best two players. I don't have to decide. I can take them both. Okay. Except in a year, like I'm mad that the Lions weren't in high in the draft this year. 
this is the year you want a quarterback. There's probably about four or five quarterbacks. They can't take any of them. Can't take Drake. Can't take Caleb. They're locked into this guy till 2028. Can't take JJ. And nobody's going to take this contract. 2028. Now, the best thing they could do is flip those two first round picks for maybe four first round picks or some down the line. But. He single-handedly has killed a franchise. I've never seen anything like that before. The 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 owner, the general manager, and Kyler Murray has, have decimated the Arizona Cardinals. I don't know how they bounce back from this because they're, they're going to be bad because he doesn't care about football. When you have to put in the clause, I kind of need you to read the playbook. Yeah, that tells me everything I need to know. So the Patriots and Colts are set to play in Germany this year, I believe that game is going to be a week nine matchup. And it sold out. Tickets sold out in a matter of minutes, according to the NFL. Do the Germans know that Brady doesn't play for the Patriots? I don't think they know. I don't think they understand who plays for the Colts because there's nothing exciting for that matchup. But it sold out within minutes. Yeah. And the other game, Chiefs Dolphins, who's also playing in Germany, that sold out quickly as well. It makes sense, though. It's an event. And for those who are like, but it's the Colts and, and the Patriots. It's the same way when the World Cup comes here. We don't get it that often. So if you even remotely follow football and it's coming to Germany, you're going to make the drive to go see it. Just like if you remotely follow soccer, you're going to go see the World Cup game. Your average person doesn't care. But if it's only going to be here for a game or two, okay, you'll sell out. Now, if it was a whole season, no, you would have empty stadiums there just like you have empty stadiums here. And then I'll close it out with this because we were all watching the video, the reveal of the cream sickle jerseys returning for the Tampa Bay Buccaneers And I keep bringing this up because Lions fans, I want you to understand when you face them this year, they will be wearing these and it will be the greatest thing you've ever seen because the Lions can't compete uniform wise. They can't compete uniform wise, but I I guess it's time and history. It's it's what people are going to be saying years from now. Oh, my God, the Lions are wearing a black jersey. You do realize those jerseys in Tampa Scream losing. It sure did. You're right. They were the first team to not win a game. When they asked the coach, it was Rich McKee, you know, McKay, you know, what do you think about the execution of the offense? I'm in favor of it. I mean, they were that bad. I see. I think Steve Young, I think the Leroy and Dewey Selman, like they didn't win games. But now it's the hot fashion thing. I mean, it's gonna be, it'll be cool. They'll do it once. If you're the Lions, don't try to match it. Just wear your normal road jerseys. You don't want them to wear the grays to yeah. kind of match? If you try to match it, David, it's going to – you can relate to this. It's when Michigan tried to match the pro combat jerseys of state, and you looked ridiculous. It was a mistake. You should have just played in your regular jerseys. It's okay to let somebody else have their moment. Let Tampa have the moment. You go out there on the field and you beat them. You just prepare. Yeah. right. And you know what will happen? I don't even know why we brought these losing jerseys back anyway. They sucked in. They suck now. But, yeah, they the, the creamsicle jerseys with uh, Bruce the Pirate on the yes. helmet. Yes. Yeah. I, guess I remember those days. Steve Young running around. Before he went to the privilege team. Doug Williams. Doug Williams. Was in that jersey as well. It was. So, no, it, it was, yeah. It was a lot of people that played, I think, what? was Warren, Yeah, Warren Sapp. Warren Sapp started in that. He uh, started Ronde in Barber that started in that. So, yeah. So, yeah. John Lynch. Wow. Uh, you know, it is what it is. They're okay, but you're right. They lost. The, so. uh, what I should simply say for this, if you're the Lions, don't just don't try to match it. Let Tampa have their day that day, because you don't have you don't possess a jersey that's remotely close to that. And don't tell me the Thanksgiving Day jersey, because it's not. It's not.
That, it, that it is not. That that's like the Brandon Inge of jerseys. And that's a great way to end it. That is in football today.